As we've seen with the films, actually running a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World is, is quite a uh, dangerous proposition. So you need to try and succeed where others have failed before you. The player starts off with a few key buildings on an island which are going to teach you the, the basic tools of how to build and maintain your park. And from that you're going to earn your first contract which brings you into uh, your first few decisions about which division you want to side with. In the game there are three divisions vying for your attention. For security, it's operations, uh, safety, for science, genetic engineering, animal welfare, and for entertainment it's all about the guests, it's all about the show, and the bottom line. Once you've built these beautiful enclosures, it's up to you to maintain them as well. You'll be unlocking new things to put into the enclosures, you can upgrade the fences, uh, you can build all sorts of new things inside them. The game is a management game, but you can also then take direct control of some of the teams in your park and get up close and personal with these dinosaurs yourself. Taking control of those allow you to um, directly deal with threats or issues in the park, so the ranger uh, vehicle can be driven to medicate dinosaurs using the dart gun, uh, you can take control of the ACU helicopter, fly over your park which looks awesome, and tranquilize escape dinosaurs. Basically you get to be the hero and save the day whilst also being the park manager. Who doesn't want that? Uh, management in Jurassic World Evolution is it's the core pillar. Making sure your guests are safe, making sure your dinosaurs are, are looked after, keeping an eye on the finances, doing all the research, doing all the um, you know, the extraction, and of course this is across five, five different islands as well. As you start moving through the game and you start taking control of the park and you start thinking that you've dealt with your dinosaurs and you've dealt with your guests, the islands themselves are going to start throwing storms at you and they're going to start damaging the park and they're going to start getting dinosaurs to leave their enclosures and it's going to cause you all kinds of trouble. So it's really up to the, the player to make sure they've got the correct things in place to deal with a, an event like that. Each of the islands uh, that you manage within the, the five deaths uh, has their own island rating and that's the key uh, progression sort of metric for progressing through the islands. However, that challenge does increase as you, as you go through it, so it's not as easy to three-star Muerta as it is uh, Matanceros. You're also introduced to new challenges uh, and some of those challenges aren't necessarily within your control as well, so you can experience sabotage from a disgruntled employee, uh, that kind of challenge. So as the player progresses through the game, as they progress through these islands, they're going to get access to new research, new buildings, bigger and scarier dinosaurs, and they can use those on the previous islands that we've been on. We're a game about choice and player decisions, and the choices you make ultimately will um, determine the Jurassic world you create. We're going to offer the players a, a sandbox mode so that they're able to take control of the Isla Nubla, which you'll recognise from the films. And you've just got a big open space and a blank canvas for them to build whatever park they like. Uh, cash isn't uh, a, a restriction, but we do encourage you to play through the, the uh, career mode any, as well, um, as that unlocks um, the dinosaurs and buildings and all the other aspects that you can then uh, use in in the sandbox and that is the Nubla. Uh, a number of players have been asking is are we going to be doing anything to coincide with the, the film Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I can say that we are going to be doing a free update uh, with content from the film inside Jurassic World Evolution. We're really excited to see players get their hands on it.